Hi everyone, today in Rate continue with the tutorial of C Sharp and I said before in my previous video how to add the SSHnet library. Now here I I'm here to explain you how to download the file using SFTP connection. So for that, and I said before also how to use the background, I'm using it here also. If you like, please click on the, the link below and you can go and see how to manage background worker. So let's start with the algorithm. So here you put the host, the username, the password, and the remote directory. directory. Okay, so using the SFTP client, SFTP equals a new FTP client, you put the host, the username, and the password. Then you create a connection. So you create the connection, you get all the files in the remote directory. Okay, then for each file, I'm gonna download it. So, I had a problem before and this is just uh, to avoid bringing two files that are not there or the name are that double that so first I validate those files doesn't start with the, these in, his, in their names then I only want to bring because this is just for me from algorithm files that are between the data time picker 1 and data time picker 2 and also files that contain a, a specific uh, string in my in the name so this is just for me to, for my program so here is the, the important thing so because I'm doing a download so I need to put the path of my local computer and it will be my documents and the file name after that I just need to create a file string a string file to download the file so I put the file open right to this path specific path and then run the method SF tp download file from the remote director file name to the file string so this file string i defined the path before so this is everything you need to do so do show the progress i count how many files i had with this one files that can count so this is counting how many files I have already downloaded from the total and I get the percentage and I mentioned in the last video for the background pro worker I am reporting the progress and this is showing in the bar I'm gonna show you just the the window here so for me I need to select the day from I want the files and then I click download so that's all for today, I hope you like it, give it a like, please share it, bye bye.